A dark cloud looms over our hero's head as Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter Number 50 is now officially in the history books as Goku, Vegeta, and the Grand Supreme Kai continue their relentless pursuit in further apprehending the Eater of Worlds and escaped galactic prisoner Moro who now has his full magical abilities restored and is now back to full strength. As their previous attempts have failed, a fight to the death is now about to begin as Moro's wish has finally been revealed. Our heroes now scramble to figure out how to counter Moro's army of prisoners as they piece together a strategy to stop him. The pursuit in defeating and capturing Moro continues, but despite having to be outnumbered, the sadistic and sinister Moro has a few tricks up his sleeve. As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for both anime and Dragon Ball, then be sure to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload, as well as if you love Dragon Ball and and are excited for the upcoming manga chapter in the future as well as much more from the Dragon Ball franchise then be sure to go on ahead and slap a like down below and give this video a big thumbs up as we kick off Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 50 entitled Great Escape inside of the Galactic Prison in which the narration goes on to state under the jurisdiction of the Galactic Patrol. Now we get to observe inside how shackles and gateways are basically lying on the ground blown right open as the guards themselves are trying to figure out and what had just happened as one of the galactic patrol guards goes on to comment that moral guy's magic is scary it even helped him escape from this prison as the second guard goes on to reply, he melted the bars, which signifies that they are currently inside the captivity zone to where Moro once stood. As the guards continue, and the Galactic King wants this repaired quickly? That's a tall order. As the second guard replies, yeah, since Captain Maris set out to recapture Moro, we gotta have things on tip top shape on our end. But Moro was able to break through the prison's super strong defenses already. What'll stop him from doing it again? As the other guard replies, no clue. But for now, we've gotta believe in the Galactic Patrol. As the guards continue, maybe we should be wary of the other prisoners here instead. As the second guard replies, nah, Moro's the one to watch out for. The others could never escape on their own. Not knowing the fact that as they're walking away, something very sinister is beginning to brew. As we take a look at the guards entering the detention zone, we take a good hard look at dozens upon dozens of prisoners just having to sit there lying in wait. And as the two guards continue in their observation, one of them goes on to notice how another guard is beginning to lead a group of bandits, the same bandits we've seen at the beginning of this arc, inside of their captivity zone. And as the guard opens up the cell, he proceeds to tell all three of them get in. And as soon as they go in, he goes on to tell them, how many times do we have to lock you three up? Can't you learn your lesson for once? As he closes the door, the ringleader goes on to comment, huh, a life of crimes the only kind for us. As the guard replies, freaking unbelievable. They must actually love it in there. As meanwhile, we take a look at what happened on New Planet Namek, with Moro's wish having to literally hurdle its way through space itself, we take a look back at the Galactic Patrol HQ, how Purunga looms over the ship itself as the wish has finally now been granted. And inside, the ship is now beginning to shake. The guards are very alarmed, as one of them goes on to ask, huh? What's what's happening as everything is shaking literally rattling all of the prisoners inside the guards are trying to scramble in figuring out What exactly is happening until out of nowhere the shields go down and every single door within that captivity zone is now opened as the guards are dumbfounded as to what had just happened one of them goes on to cry out what what the cell barriers went down! As the guards scramble to try to figure out what had just happened, one of them goes on to comment, Shoot! I can't get a hold of the Galactic Patrol HQ! What the heck is going on? But at this point, it's far too late because all of the prisoners now are stepping outside of their chambers. As the guards cry out, y Yikes! Uh, what do you think they're doing? As the two guards on the ground floor go on to point their guns at the prisoners, they go on to tell them, B 
back in your cells, inmates! But the inmates are standing their ground, and in fact, if we take a look at most of these prisoners, a lot of them do resemble the polar opposite of the Universe 6 fighters, as of course we have three examples with a Magetta, Botamo, and Hit lookalike. Even though these characters have no direct correlation to the Universe 6 fighters entirely, they do resemble the polar opposite of what we've seen from those characters in Universe 6, so that's something to take note of. As meanwhile, it looks as if Toriotaro had focused on one specific prisoner. As he still remains in his cell, he goes on to comment, Yeah, we're free. Time to run. You really pulled it off, Lord Moro. As he steps outside, the other prisoners go on to greet him as meanwhile the three bandits inside notice this, one of them goes on to ask, Big, big bro, this is our chance to run! As the ringleader replies, I'm guessing this is Moro's doing? As they all seem to be aware of what had just happened, the guards go on to cry out, Was there a malfunction? Hit the switch! Hit the switch! Quick, hit the switch! And the guards are panicking because they don't know what to do. As the other guard replies, oh, This is bad! The power's out! As the main guard replies, Well, how is that possible? As we then take a look back at all of the remaining prisoners, they go on to cry out, The barriers are down! Is this our chance to make a break for it? As they finally do, we take a look at how all of the inmates now are beginning to run the asylum. As the main prisoner charges right in, he grabs one of the guards' gun and quickly aims it down in his face. Bursting right through the glass as he aims the gun at the guard's face, he proceeds to tell him, I know our ship's here, so you're gonna hand it over, okay? As the guard is left speechless, the main prisoner sag goes on to cry out, the rest of you come along too. We ain't gonna hurt ya. As the prisoners slowly begin to step out, the three bandits that were just put away go on to comment, what about us big bro? As the leader replies, this could get fun. Let's join the party. As meanwhile, back on Maris and Jocko's ship, the pilot goes on to cry out, Incoming! There's an emergency dispatch straight from HQ! As Maris asks, what's the situation? As the pilot then tells him, oh no, oh, oh no, with Jocko asking, what? 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 What just happened? As Maris turns around, he goes on to inform Jocko, the inmates at the Galactic Prison have staged a massive prison break. As Jocko cries out, what? Say what? Nobody can seem to believe what had just happened, but the inmates now are finally free. As we go back to New Planet Namek with Goku, Vegeta, and the Daikaio having to stand over Moro, they all begin to quickly realize what Moro had done as Goku goes on to cry out, You let them loose? But why? As Moro laughs, he goes on to tell them, here they come. And with Goku and Vegeta looking up, Goku goes on to point out, look, Vegeta, up there. As a massive ship finally begins to approach the atmosphere, this is the same ship that Sag had been talking about. As we go back to Maris and Jocko, Maris goes on to comment, and the incident actually occurred one minute ago. As the pilot responds, yes, the message came late because we lost contact with the prison. One minute ago, that was right about when Moro made his wish, right? As the little Namekian boy then goes on to cry out to everyone, Ah! I'm remembering! As Jocko turns around, he goes on to ask, Uh, remembering what? As the little Namekian boy goes on to reply, Moro's wish! The final one! As Jocko asks, Oh yeah! They brainwashed you and forced you to state the wishes, right? As everyone goes into panic mode, Maris goes on to cry out, In that case, with Moro then having to state yes. For that final wish, I demanded that every prisoner in the galactic prison go free. As indeed, this turned out to be Moro's final wish as he is playing the role of Bane in the Batman movie in setting the Gotham prisoners free, Vegeta and Goku go on to comment a spaceship? Is, is it them? As Goku comments, I'm feeling a lot of chi signatures in there. And with the ship slowly beginning to turn, we then observe how the ship itself lets out a massive energy blast as Goku goes on to cry out, look out! And this blast is so impactful that we could see the effects of this blast literally from space. This blast was so powerful that it causes Goku, the Daikaio, and Vegeta to quickly dodge for their lives. As only then Vegeta goes on to ask a surprise attack, Goku goes on to comment, you think it's the freed prisoners? And in fact, it is. Because with Moro standing on top of the ship itself, the main prisoner Sag kneels down before Moro as he goes on to tell him, at your service 
service, Lord Moro. As Moro then replies, you've brought a small army, I see. Well done indeed. As promised, I will share my power with you all. And as Goku and Vegeta continue to stare back up, Vegeta goes on to comment, Ugh, Moro's up there now with Goku replying he must have been waiting for his pals to show up, as only then they begin to notice an aura of energy surrounding the ship itself. As Goku and Vegeta are dumbfounded as to what is going on, Goku then goes on to comment, the ones inside, I I just felt their chi grow, I, I think Moro's used his magic again. And with the ship's doors now beginning to open, the prisoners now are all beginning to escape and their primary focus at this point is Goku, Vegeta, and the Daikaio. And with all of the prisoners touching ground, there is a moment of tension as Goku and Vegeta then go on to comment, so this is why he seemed so confident a moment ago. We had no idea he'd be bringing friends. As Moro oversees this, he goes on to tell his prisoner friends, Have at them, my convicts. As all of the prisoners then begin to take charge, Goku, Vegeta, and the Daikaio get into position. As the Daikaio raises his energy, so does Goku and Vegeta. As a matter of fact, they go Super Saiyan Blue. As Goku then goes on to cry out, On your toes! These guys seem tough. And as they begin to attack Goku and Vegeta in their blue forms, it seems as though Goku and Vegeta have literally no difficulty in handling these inmates because although Moro had passed off a bit of his energy to the prisoners just for sport, Goku and Vegeta in their blue forms are still able to hold their own. As a matter of fact, Goku is so casually able to grab onto these individuals' legs and smashing them together, force pushing most of them away, it looks like in their blue state these prisoners are literally no match for Goku and Vegeta. And while this is happening, some of the other prisoners are hesitant to jump in because they're realizing how badly most of them are getting their asses kicked by Goku and Vegeta. And with Vegeta stepping in there, kicking, punching, and literally blasting his way through, we observe how Moro is looking down at this with no care in the world. As we then observe the Daikaio, Vegeta, Goku all standing their ground, Moro doesn't seem to be concerned or alarmed at all because still even right now while Goku Vegeta and the Daikaio hold the upper hand Moro still has a few tricks up his sleeve as some of the guards go on to comment whoa, whoa these ain't your everyday galactic patrol guys uh, how, how are they this strong as Sag looks down he goes on to comment hey don't turn yellow on me keep going at them unless you want to head back to the slammer you better obey Lord Moro's commands so go, they can't hold all of you at once. As the prisoners then overhear this, they step back in. And with Goku, Vegeta, and the Daikaio having to clean house, out of nowhere, Goku goes from Super Saiyan Blue back down to Super Saiyan God. And so does Vegeta. As Goku then begins to look at his hands, he goes on to comment, Huh? God form? With the Daikaio having to point upwards, he goes on to tell them both, Moro started absorbing energy again. And that's why Goku and Vegeta are regressing from Super Saiyan Blue back down to Super Saiyan God. Because Moro now is beginning to take more of the planet's energy along with Goku and Vegeta's. And with Goku not wasting a single second in God form, he goes on to leap up in the sky as he goes on to cry out, NOT SO FAST! With Sag then quickly getting on the rails, he goes on to tell Moro, I'll handle him. And as Sag and Goku are literally about to collide, out of nowhere, Goku goes from Super Saiyan God back down to Super Saiyan 3. So this is all due to Moro stealing everyone's energy and condensing that in the form of an energy ball. And the minute Goku goes Super Saiyan 3, Sag hits Goku so hard that Super Saiyan 3 Goku comes crashing on down to the ground, reverting back to his base form. And with Sag smiling down at Goku, Vegeta in God form goes on to cry out, PICK YOURSELF BACK UP Kakarot! Not knowing that Vegeta had also gone from from Super Saiyan God right back down to base. And as Vegeta gets punched in the face and staggers back, Goku and Vegeta then go into Super Saiyan. As Vegeta then goes on to comment, the moment we drop our guard, our transformations fail us, damn it. But then over out in the distance, the Daikaio is literally getting the crap beat out of him. And this isn't only because the prisoners are all collectively ganging up on him, but it is also because
because Moral had passed on some of his energy to them, making them that much more powerful by comparison. As Goku then goes on to cry out, You okay, Boo? Vegeta then goes on to comment that battle against Moral in space earlier must have taken a toll on him. As Goku replies, Darn, the battle still continues. Now, this in and of itself is putting Goku and Vegeta now at a huge disadvantage because every single time they drop their guard or even think about ascending past Super Saiyan, Moro then continuously goes on to take their energy as they go on to regress in transformation levels. As Goku then goes on to tell Moro, Hey Moro, what are you really after here? What's the point of all of this? As Moro looks down at Goku, he goes on to tell him to create an ideal galaxy where I am free to consume planets as I wish. Gathering these allies is one small step towards that end. As Vegeta then goes on to ask him, you hold a grudge against the Galactic Patrol then? As Moro then goes on to reply, I wonder. What I can say is I detest the sort of peace that you people want to preserve on this planet and others. All those who would strive for such a nonsense should be eradicated. With Goku and Vegeta then regressing from Super Saiyan back down to base, as Moro continues to speak, he also continues to take their energy, in basically letting them know that his sole desire is to consume planets of their energy, and he doesn't want anybody to step in his way of doing so, but to where he also believes that peace should not exist, and all those who want to preserve this peace should be eradicated from the face of existence. As Goku and Vegeta now stand in base, Goku goes on to comment, and now we can't even go Super Saiyan. As Vegeta replies, damn it, how many times will we fall for his tricks? As the prisoners get close, the fight still continues, and with Maris' ship finally getting onto the battlefield, he goes on to cry out, oh no, the convicts have all gathered here, damn it, we have to help our allies, Agent Jocko, as Jocko goes on to ask, uh, uh by, by we, you mean you too, right? As Eska goes on to tell them all, I, I, I can help as well, I can't fight, but, but at least I can heal your injuries. As meanwhile, on the battlefield with Goku and Vegeta continuing their fight, Vegeta goes on to cry out, BLAST! These fools aren't getting any weaker! With Goku replying, Moro must only be absorbing energy from us! As two of the prisoners then get vaporized, Jocko and Maris finally show up on the battlefield. Aiming their ray guns, they're beginning to zap away most of the convicts as Goku cries out, Maris! Jocko! Maris then goes on to tell him, defeating Moro is impossible at this point, especially given the current circumstances. We have to retreat. And with Esco running on over to the Daikaio, he uses his magic to finally heal him as he slowly begins to stand back up. Moro and Sag notice this as Sag goes on to ask, uh, who are they? They have backup of their own. Okay. As Sag aims his gun at the pilot and Maris' ship, Maris notices this as he goes on to cry out, No! No! And quickly aims his gun at Sag's as he shoots away Sag's gun. Sag then goes on to comment, What the heck? Ugh. At this distance? Basically giving Maris credit in having good aim. As then Goku goes on to scream out, Hey! Your name's Iriko, right? You've got to take the ship and get out of here! As the pilot acknowledges this, Goku quickly goes on to use instant transmission as he goes on to tell everyone, I hear you, Maris, so grab my hand. We'll escape with instant transmission. As Maris smiles, he looks on over at the Daikaio and crying out, Great Lord of Lords! Use your own instant teleportation to warp to the Galactic Patrol HQ, please! As the Daikaio agrees, he goes on to reply, Very well, we'll meet you at your HQ. And with everyone grabbing onto Goku, Goku then goes on to tell Vegeta what's the holdup? If he absorbs any more energy, I won't be able to use instant teleportation again, Vegeta. As Vegeta then goes on to comment, stupid magic spells, stupid god power. And with Goku hearing this, he begins to question himself as Vegeta then goes on to comment, forget instant teleportation. We Saiyans pride ourselves on physical might and nothing more. A warrior race has no need for fancy parlor tricks, and yet I've been reduced to this. As Goku quickly screams at Vegeta, let's go! Do you want to die here or something? With Vegeta staring out in the distance, something seems to be troubling him. As weirdly enough, he then goes on to tell Goku, go ahead Kakarot, 
This is where I part ways with you people. As Vegeta takes off racing against the ship, Goku then cries out, VEGETA! With Maris telling Goku we have no time, it's now or never Goku, Goku then proceeds in using instant transmission to leave the battlefield as the prisoners begin to bum rush them. And as the prisoners then begin to pile up on one another, they begin to question on what had just happened. As even Sag goes on to ask, uh where they run off to. With Vegeta literally flying next to the ship itself, he goes on to scream at the pilot, open up! And with Vegeta taking his own route in getting to the Galactic Patrol HQ, Goku and Maris actually arrive. As we then take a look at the Galactic King basically taking a bath, he goes on to quickly ask, what the heck? With Goku commenting, ah, oh, sorry, mister, uh, uh, yours was the only chi I could sense. As Jocko apologizes, Maris then goes on to ask Goku, what do you think Vegeta meant by all of that? As Goku asks, I, I don't know, what could he be thinking? As Vegeta's ship along with the pilots are now being targeted, the pilot then goes on to state this will get bumpy. You might want to grab a hold of something. As he quickly floors the pedal, the ship takes off at such a speed to where all of the prisoners are left standing there. And as they do, Sag goes on to cry out, what are you idiots doing? As Moro oversees this, he seems to be eerily quiet. As back on the ship, as we notice Vegeta and the pilot take off, the pilot then goes on to comment, phew! by the skin of our teeth. Okay, we're heading back to the Galactic Patrol too. As Vegeta aims his hand at him, he goes on to tell him no. You're going to fly this thing where I want you to go. As the pilot comments, huh? Well, where exactly is that? As Vegeta goes on to tell him, we're going to planet Yardrad as the manga chapter then comes to a close. Now, it would appear that Moro is somewhat like Zamasu, he wants to go on ahead and usher in a universe to where nobody can tell him what to do in terms of consuming planets and stealing the very energy of life forms such as plants, animals, people. He wants to do what he wants to do without any authority. That's why he is doing this. He wants to be able to consume and destroy, and Moro hates the very concept of peace itself, and he is actually willing to destroy anybody who wants to defend this concept of peace. Meanwhile, Vegeta seems to be very bothered by not only magic, Moro's magic that is, but also his own god power. Now the question lingers, what does Vegeta want with Planet Yardrad? What is on planet Yardrad that Vegeta could use to his own advantage to defeat Moro? What this goes on to tell me is that there is a possibility that Vegeta might be the victor of this story because if Vegeta is going to planet Yardrat for a very specific reason, then that goes as far as to show character development and he knows of something on Yardrat that could give him the upper hand. Could this possibly be a new transformation, a new technique, or a new weapon that Vegeta could use in this battle? Time can only tell, but we are going to find out what happens in Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 51 in August. So again, post your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Moro's wish having to bring back all of the galactic prisoners in hopes of aiding him per se, as I do think that Moro is simply using them, and I do believe that Moro is eventually going to take their life energy as well, because the way Moro comes across in this manga is very, very sadistic, and I wouldn't put it past him to betray all of the prisoners just to simply take their energy. So again, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload. Be sure to go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, slap a big fat like down below, tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Take it easy, guys. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead. <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god. The fuck, Zabon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs>